Thank you for tuning in to GG Plot School this week. And if you remember from last week, we made this chart right here. And this week we're going to touch on something that I think is really important when you want to take that next level step in GG Plot, and that's learning about themes. So I want to take this chart right here that we made last week, and I want to eventually make this chart right here. So this is an exported one I made um, really quick right before this. And I want to talk about the changes I made. So the first one, if you can see the title on the right image, I put that to the I put that to the left. So I like to left align it. And if you notice my style, I really like a minimal chart, and I don't like a lot of extra lines and a lot of extra things. So the th other thing I did was I dropped this background, and I dropped all these grids right here. So I totally dropped all those grids. I kept the major grid lines right here, and then some really subtle things are these tick marks right here on this one. I dropped it too. It's over there. And then um, that's about it. And then everything else is just much cleaner. So this is a very minimal version. And I'll show you how to export it and show you how to save these theme changes. But let's first talk about themes. So I'll close this image. Right. I'll minimize this image. So there's a couple of different themes that come along with ggplot. And this is the standard one. So this is um, the standard gray theme. And we'll see by adding it in our code here, when you add it, and run it. It's going to give you the same exact same exact chart, but there's also another one, black and white. It gives you a different minimal effect too, but I even like it more minimal. I like to drop the things in here like that. I think that's a bit much. So, how where do you learn about themes? So the best place to learn about it, I think, is to go to the ggplot website, um, docsggplot2.org, and here you're going to see all these theme options and there are a lot of theme options so and you can control almost anything in the um, in the plot so this is why I love ggplot and love themes but the two things you gotta really remember um, are these three first three lines right here line rectangle and text these are kind of like the parent items and so they're the syntax within the um, element so for access title it's gonna call back to element text and you have to use a syntax from element text to make any changes um, to your plot. It sounds a little bit complicated, but we're going to go through it real quick. So let's pull back up our chart and remember that image right here, all these changes, and we're just going to walk through them and how I do it. First one, let's tackle title. And so, so this is how the first part is you just, um, to change the theme, we're going to use the base theme gray. And if you see, we'll rerun this code. And since it's the default, it just go back to theme gray but we're gonna add this right now. We're gonna add theme, plot, title elements, plot title. And then you're gonna see this syntax right here, element text, and then H just, horizontal justification equals zero. Yeah. When we do that, we're gonna left align our title. And I like that, I think it's a lot cleaner. Next, let's start cleaning up that background. So we'll do panel.background equals element blank. So element blank right here just means that keep it blank. Don't put anything in there, don't fill it with white, just keep it blank. And this is gonna be our um, lifesaver and our big friend when we're doing this. And when you wanna make minimal themes, um, element blank you're gonna be using a lot. And so let's keep on adding. Here you can kind of barely tell these grid lines. And I'm just gonna drop them all the way. And these are actually minor grid lines. The major grid lines go through these major points. So the 15, the 10, and five. If the line's on that, it's a major grid line. If it's like in between, it's a minor grid line. And you're gonna see we have some barely visible there and there, but um, let's just drop them totally. Panel dot grid dot minor dot x equals element blank. Now the x ones are gone. It's gonna be a pretty pretty simple fix right here. Actually, you can get rid of both of them by doing this the parent item of that. And you got rid of all of them. So you could put dot x dot y if you want to control each one. So that's how you do just one. If you want to get rid of them both, do that. Next, we're going to um, actually add those lines in. So remember this image right here. We had these grid lines right here. 
And so now we're going to edit a line element. Um, the element we just edited before was a text element in the title. So now we're going to edit a line element. And I'll show you this panel dot grid major. And then element line color equals gray. Like before, you can change your colors. And then line type equals dashed. And these are all um, options within ggplot. You can look up to the, you can go back to the ggplot site and find more options. But when we run this, get a pretty clean line like that. And then for me, I'm a real stickler, so I really don't like these um, axis ticks on the y axis. So I want to just drop them. And um, the simple thing we did before element. Axis ticks dot y equals element blank. We run this whole thing. Boom. It's very clean, very minimal. This is usually how the charts, when I export them, they look like this. And so now let's export this one. Save as image. So this is how you export a chart. You can go to export, save as image, and then um, rename it. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Six hundred by four hundred. That looks pretty clean. And then our plot. We'll just do murder plot. And there you have it. There's your image, and, and this is your plot and the saved copies on the desktop. So. Now, what if you've worked on this theme and you like it and you don't want to retype in the whole thing? An easy way to just add it um, is to turn this into a function. And so here, we're just going to add theme gray. And then add it. And then save it as an item. So we'll call it theme minimal. Here. That should work. And now we want to add this theme when we want to apply. So let's look at this when we have our basic plot. And we want to quickly apply that theme we just created. We just go in here. Theme minimal. And boom. So that's a really cool trick. And you can take this um, this new theme you have and then um, put it into other charts and it's going to save you a bunch of time and this is what I do every single time so I just have a really um, gigantic one with all my theme settings and then I just um, select it each time like this so saves you a lot of time you're going to get you some really clean results and then um, when you want to learn more and you want to do extra stuff just go back in here and then keep on playing um, with all these settings and there are a bunch of settings and we're going to get into more as we do panels and stuff like that but um, this is a good introduction to themes so I guess now we're kind of um, finished with this plot. I don't, there's not much more I can do with scatter plot, and we're going to jump on do some other plots. But I just wanted to go show you guys themes this week and make sure that you understand it before we get into more advanced stuff. But um, if you enjoyed this video, remember to like it and remember to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Bye.